Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's best thing is to, to read the Bible every day. It's very important. Also, anyone, uh, you know, like uh, pastors and professors and uh, fathers and uh, anyone who is uh, in a high, high position, it doesn't matter. Uh, as a Christian, we are supposed to read the Bible every day, and uh, we just should be trained, uh, you know, the uh, apply the Word of God every day. It's very important, you know, the obedience, uh, you know, uh, submission is the first the priority to the uh, the believer, you know, to the Christian. So, when you have you have to set a you know a certain passage every day and try to read it even though you you don't do masa but masa offered to you and uh, uh, from the old testament and you just read a, a certain amount of passage and then try to apply you to yourself right and today passage is is a uh, second chronicles chapter 15 1 through uh you know seven you know uh KJG version and ESV version upper and down there I will read it read it one by one and the Spirit of God came upon Azariah the son of Obed and he went out to meet Asa and said unto him hear in me Asa and all Judah and Benjamin the Lord is with you while he be with him and if he seek him he will be found of you but if he forsake him he will forsake you now for a long season israel had been without the true god and without a teaching uh, priest and uh, without the law uh, but when they in their travel did uh, turn on to the lord the god of israel and so Tim, he was fond of him, fond of them. And in those times there was no peace to him uh, that went out nor to him and that came in, but a great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. Verse 6. And the nation was destroyed of a nation, and the city of a city for god did vex them with all other adversity be ye strong therefore and let not your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded and the esv version here and uh, let's see oops yeah my face is a little small here all right it's better uh, to read it. All right. Uh, verse, from verse 1. The Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Obed, and he went out to meet uh, Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. For a long time Israel was without a true God and without a teaching priest and without law. But when in their distress they turned to the Lord, the God of Israel, and sought him, he was found by them. In those times there was no peace to him who went out or to him who came in. For great disturbances afflicted all the inhabitants of the lands. They were broken in pieces, nations was crushed by nation and the city by city, for God troubled them with every sort of distress. But you take courage, do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Hallelujah. Today passage is uh, talking about uh, they got a salvation deliverance, you know. Uh, afterwards, uh, God, you know, God send uh, send it to them, uh, as you know, uh, uh, the prophet, you know, and uh, the people can easily. Uh, all right, let me just uh, come out. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, as you know, the people, uh, you know, they they can become very 
uh, haughty after deliverance and the salvation you know it's easy to uh, they to do that and but however uh, we should uh, focus on the, the you know only what uh, word of God and God himself you know many people just uh, they just uh, focus on other fact you know God did after deliver deliverance you know salvation uh, today passage if you look at that and then uh, the son of uh, Azariah who came to uh, Asa and uh, those people and then all right you did a good thing you know uh, verse 2 is talking about uh, but you know first three uh, two other verses is uh, he is uh, just a detail you know talking about uh, the history of uh, their history so since you didn't seek God and uh, there was no really uh, the truth of the Lord you know but many translation uh, translated only true God like Emmet Elohim Emmet but however this uh, word can be also uh, you know also the tr uh, the God of uh, truth like that but anyway this is uh, another translation matter but I want to emphasize to you today and uh, even though we uh, experience the salvation of God we don't really have appreciation and uh, historical redemptive history and uh, we should see all the history how it goes how it just uh, you know really just a uh, uh, history uh, um, just passes passes by we should uh, take a look at and uh, uh, that is a very important thing you know and uh, today uh, I want to really emphasize uh, to you and uh, what should we do application today and uh, application uh, should be and uh, uh, we we are really uh, uh, the people of a covenant, especially verse two. Yeah, verse two, I will read it again. And uh, as I said that uh, here, the Lord is with you, and uh, while we uh, be with Him, if uh, you if we seek Him, He will be found of you. But if uh, we uh, e forsake Him, He will forsake you. Yeah. In other words, if you seek Him, and He, uh, he will be found of you. But if you don't seek him, and uh, he will not be found of you. Uh, so this is a simple story, you know. So covenant are people, and uh, we are just uh, always have a c accountability and a responsibility with God, and uh, we are supposed to seek every day. So what does it mean today? Every day we should uh, seek, uh, you know, His face like that. This is so important, you know. And then that's, uh, afterwards, after deliverance, and uh, you know, Azariah, who still he is uh, just giving a warning. Yeah, warning is the same thing. The word of God is a warning. Even though we just uh, res uh, restored the uh, uh, relationship with God, afterwards we should stand uh, again and uh, just uh, see ourselves again, whether we are just right or not. This is so important, you know. And uh, this is accountability, uh, our responsibility. We should stand again. The word of God, and uh, we should be, we should have a responsibility uh, in front of God. You know, God, the prophet is a warning uh, again. You know, this is uh, the point today. All right. So, point is that we should stand again in front of God. All right. Uh, all right. Let's pray t uh, today and uh, uh, application and everything we did that, and uh, we need God's uh, pro providence and God's uh, guidance today okay let us pray father we thank you for, uh, today and uh, uh, we sometimes uh, experience the, the salvation and deliverance of God afterwards we are just uh, become haughty and we just uh, easy to forget about the God's salvation and deliverance uh, we go back to our position again but however Lord you just uh, point out you sent uh, your uh, prophet and uh, to one one uh, one uh, the people of God and always we should uh, understand after we got a deliverance and we had a good experience however uh, in the in the point still we should uh, stand uh, the word of God we have to uh, just uh, uh, examine ourselves whether we are standing right and uh, uh, just uh, always have a, a right relationship and uh, stand right in the before the word of God. This is so important. That's why Azariah who uh, just pointed out uh, to the people of uh, uh, Judah. So Lord, uh, please, uh, this week, this coming, uh, uh, especially uh, the 
uh, we can uh, let us realize and what we should do uh, always and be with us today and always uh, try to uh, stand before the word of God and bless us each one of us we pray in Jesus name hallelujah uh, 오늘 포인트는 한글로 제가 어, 몇 마디 하겠습니다 어떤 분들이 어, 이 한글도 좀 해줬으면 좋겠다 마지막 음, 포인트 핵심은 이거예요 어, 금방 제가 이야기했듯이 핵심은 우리가 하나님의 백성으로 구원을 경험했잖아요 그리고 하나님 구하면 경험하고 언약의 백성으로 늘 어, 말씀 앞에서 어, 참 에, 구원을 경험할 수도 있고 안할 수도 있다 결론 경험했다 하더라도 다시 아사리아를 통해서 보내는 것은 하나님 앞에 우리가 구원의 경험 신앙 한번 뭐 잘했다고 끝나는 게 아니고 또 다시 하나님 앞에 예, 이런 말씀 앞에 책임을 가지고 또 경고 또 책임서 가지고 다시 우리가 섰다고 할때 넘어지잖아요 그러니까 다시 한번 서는 그런 것을 경고하고 있습니다 그러니까 한번 잘했다고 되는 게 아니고 어, 구원의 경험 하나님 말씀의 경험을 날마다 또 승리했다고 끝난 게 아니고 또 하는 섰다고 넘어지지 않도록 그런 포인트를 오늘 어, 지적해 드렸습니다 감사합니다